All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 19. And in this lesson, we're gonna begin that concept of commutative property. The idea being the same story can be represented in two different ways. The easiest way to start is by saying, hey, all right, students, show me eight fingers. All right, so here's our eight fingers. Now, we could write an expression. We could call that five plus three equals eight. Okay. Now, using those same fingers, if we switch our hands, do we still have eight fingers? Well, the answer is, yeah, we still have eight fingers. What can be our new numerical expression or our equation? Well, now it could be three plus five. So that's the idea is the commutative property. Using the same scenario, the same story, you can have both a five plus three and a three plus five. Another way you could show it is have students build um, cube train. And you could say, all right, well, here's a cube train with five blues and three reds. And using that cube train, you could say, well, let's write our numerical expression. And with this, our numerical expression could be five plus three equals eight. And the idea would be, well, what if we were to take that same cube train, and it looked like this, but then we were to rotate it. And what would the numerical equation be? What would that equation be if we wanted to write the red number first? Well, now it would be 3 plus 5 equals 8. And the idea is we want students to start recognizing the commutative property of addition, which is 5 plus 3 is 8, 3 plus 5 is 8. So anytime we have a number bond, oh, let's say the number bond looks like this, we want students to recognize the commutative property and know that they can either write it as 5 plus 3 is 8 or 3 plus 5 is 8. And some examples that they give in the homework problem, use the picture to write a number bond and then write the matching number sentences. So we're going to look at our pigs, cute little pigs. And we could begin by saying there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, there's seven pigs. That's our total. And then looking at our picture, we can see that there is there are five little pigs and two big pigs. And so we could write five and two. Now that number bond automatically means we can write two different addition equations, number sentences. We could write five plus two equals seven. We could write two plus five equals seven. And the reason for that is the commutative property. And parents and teachers, it is absolutely okay to teach our students this word, the commutative property of addition. Um, eventually, they're going to learn that there's no commutative property for subtraction, but right now we're only focusing on the fact that there is a commutative property of addition. Here they take away that context of the pigs, and now it's just plain old boring numbers, which coincidentally are the same numbers I was using earlier. Oh well. Um, write the number sentences to match this number bond. So you've got your number bond. And what, are, what are our two number equations, our sentences? Well, one, five plus three is equal to eight. You also do three plus five equals eight. Parents and teachers, this is a good time to remind our students that the answer, <clears throat> the answer does not always have to be on the right side we could write our sentences like this. 8 is equal to 5 plus 3, and 8 is equal to 3 plus 5. This is a good thing to remind our students. We don't want to forget, have them forget that uh, we can have that reflect around the equation sign. And that wraps up first grade module 1, lesson 19, the commutative property.